Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. I have just finished making one of the two double headed nuts. So just to explain that, that piece of aluminium there will be welded to the oil tank. Like that. And it's got a scallop out of it. And this piece of steel here will be welded to the down tube of the frame. So that won't move and that won't move either. And the nut in the middle has got a left-handed and a right-handed thread. So when I turn the nut, can I do this? Uh, it's quite tricky to do and hold the camera. I have to hold the camera with my mouth. Hmm, can we do this? Yeah, there we go. You should see that as I keep turning the nut, it pulls the two bits together. That's better, see it more like that, can't you? And that will tidy up the oil tank mounting so there's no strap around the oil tank. And then as I loosen it, you can see the two bits coming apart again. Hope that's clear. I'm quite pleased with that. It's a, quite a lot of work to do, um, quite a lot of fiddling around. Yes, I know somebody's going to ask the question, well, how are you going to make sure you tighten it so it doesn't come loose? I would probably put, oh, so that's the other interesting thing I noticed. If I keep turning this to tighten this piece, when I get to the end and it's snug, it loosens off this piece. And if I tighten that piece to the end when it gets snug, it loosens off this piece because it's a left-handed and right-handed thread. Quite a pretty little thing when it's done on the frame. That's the steel part. If I choose to have the frame powder coated, then you, you probably lose a bit of that but I'm thinking of getting the frame nickel plated in which case that'll be nickel plated steel that'll be brass that'll be aluminium when it's all polished up should look quite nice and there'll be two of those um, one above the other holding the oil tank in place so I've now got to start all over again and make another one of these but the first one's turned out uh, quite well and as, um, as a proof of concept I think that's going to work really quite well. To tighten it up, I'll probably just make a small hole in here and use a C-spanner or put an elastic band around it and do it by hand, uh, perhaps with a bit of lock thread. That, those details yet to be worked out. And the last job will be, now that I know the uh, orientation of this, I don't know if you can quite see that, there's, there's a slight scallop in that, so that when it goes onto the oil tank, um, there's no gap and it'd be easier to weld round. I'm going to do the same in this end so when it butts up to the frame tube it wraps around the frame tube slightly but what I didn't want to do was to have everything tighten up together and the oil tank scallop run that way and find out the frame scallop ends up running that way. So I've got to tighten it all up, align the oil tank scallop in the right plane and then I can put the scallop into the frame side. I hope that makes sense. It's quite difficult to explain all this. But um, there we go. It's, it's a nice thing to play with. Every pub should have one on the bar. So if people are bored and they're looking for something to fiddle with, um, I can't stop myself even. It's like the next generation of fidget spinner. Um, if only we could see that one coming and make ourselves millions, that would be good, wouldn't it? Right, so there we go. That's how far we've got. I did say I'd be focusing on that this weekend. And so far I'm reasonably pleased with how it's come out. If the threads are quite nice, there isn't much wobble in there at all, and uh, that's going to be quite trick when it's done. So people will be wondering, how's that, fuel, how's that oil tank attached? And apart from having um, everyone on the internet being able to see it, it'll be one of life's great mysteries. Right, there we go, enough rambling. That's it from me for this weekend. As usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.